folks. Welcome to the Sloppy Boys, where we take a deep dive into the drinks that you love. I'm Jeff Dutton. <laughs> Damn. Sneeze. Starting the show with a sneeze. Continue. Well, introduce him first, uh, I guess. That's Tim Kalpakis. What is up? And this is Mike Hamilton. Hello. I'm, hey. I'm fully, fully unallergized today. I'm usually pretty nice. coffee and wheezy. Here it comes. <laughs> Cut his mic. Cut his mic. Uh, Not his friend, Mike. Wh- uh, uh, which one of <laughs> the seven dwarves Mike. do I most remind you of? Uh, don't say Dopey. dopey. <laughs> yeah, who's the tallest one? Probably. Mm. <laughs> There's that one tall, tallie. <laughs> Dorky. Uh, uh, well, let's, well, let's do your thing. Yeah, let's, let's crack these and we'll discuss. Um, folks, we are out from under the thumb, the tyrannical thumb of the IBA list. Oh, my gosh. Oppressive organization, the uh, International Bartenders Association. We drank our way through their whole list, and now we're free, as of last week's daiquiri, to j- drink whatever we want. We went on a bar crawl last weekend for our blowout, if you listen to the blowout from earlier this week. <laughs> they listen. They listen. Uh, if you hadn't, get over there and listen, and uh, we got some other great shows. Listen to those. It's a better show than this one. Okay. Mike, how do you open Oh, this? yeah. Okay. So, lift. See that little white thing? Yeah. Lift that part of the tab up like this. Did that. And then slide back. We, we, let's not even talk about the drinks yet. Not no. yet. Not yet. Because we're doing something. Typically, we're doing something. We're doing something <laughs> wait, but, wait, wait. I'm doing something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we typically, we drink alcohol that hits your system pretty fast. And, and, and uh, th- today we're drinking something that we wanted to make sure that it hits us during the course of the episode. So we're going to start drinking it now mm-hmm. and then we'll talk about it when it gets mm-hmm. to due time. But we wanted to make sure that they were feeling the full effect. We're going to be very secretive to the people who have not read the title of this episode. <laughs> you can see it when you look at your phone. Yeah, but well, we're being coy. We're being coy. Oh, well, so shit chat, eh? Yeah, a little shit chat. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, do you guys feel good that being done with the International Bartenders Association? I feel good. I feel accomplished. I do. Oh, what I was going to say before is we did that bar crawl from our last blog, and that was an attempt just to get out. Try new stuff. Sure. Yes. See what we're going for. I didn't drink anything on the bar crawl we're going to do on the show, but still. You didn't drink anything on the bar crawl. You don't like to drink very no, much. No, this was a, this was more symbolic. Yeah. We're going out, and we're going out to Ceremonial. interact with other drinks. Mm-hmm. Don't forget the one-two punch of bar crawl and then St. Pat's. Not to date the episode, but that's a fucking heavy night as well. Yeah, yeah that was wild. Yeah. It's also kind of cool that we have this momentum that feels like there's this groundswell happening where it's like, we have shows coming up in yeah. L.A., Chicago, Milwaukee, Brooklyn, Rhode Island, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh type mm-hmm. places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sort of a hot streak. And mini tour, would someone say? Yeah, we're free from the shackles of the cocktail list. Our pod is popping off. Our live act is popping off. There's a movie in the can, mm-hmm. you know? It's a good time to be one of the sloppy boys. A might, lot. Be, might be viewable at some point. Possibly might viewable. Be viewable. But don't you feel like there's a lot of times where it's not good to be one of the sloppy boys? This hey, is what you have to cherish one of these moments where it's good to be the three of yeah. us. It's good to be the three of us. It's good to be king. Also, <laughs> can we just announce the live stream? What's stopping us? Go for it. April 12th, folks. Friday, April 12th. The watch party for the Sloppy Boys documentary, Blood, Sweat, and Beers, or How the Sloppy Boys Made an Album in West Texas. Mm-hmm. Watch it with us. We're going to intro it. We're gonna, you're going to get a, a first sneak peek. This is the pre-premiere, folks. This is our, for our listeners that, and, and the people that follow us on social media that are they're going to get some VIP sneaky peeky mm-hmm, treatment to mm-hmm. watch the movie with us before it gets its wide release. Yeah, it's baby. Pre- what did you say? It was a preview? It's a pre- pre-premiere. Pre premiere preview. It's a little pre. Yeah, it's a little pre. Eh, be there, folks. Be there, folks. <laughs> to check that out, you can go to the sloppyboys.com and um, you'll see it. We'll put it there mm-hmm. so you can't miss it. It's coming up. That's going to be fun. Ooh, Hong Kong. Oh, beep, beep to you. <laughs> <laughs> folks, have you heard any uh, just sort of weird honks just then? It was a car outside, not a big deal. Probably shouldn't even be talking about it. Yep. Don't not, dwell on it. Not going to fuck up. <laughs> the rest of the pod. <laughs> now we're all in the same room and we're at Jeff's place and we're in LA all together. We're in kind of a f- cool, yeah, we're in LA. Together. We're in a cool little yeah. spot here, aren't we? Very nice. Mm-hmm. Very wild. Yeah. It's kind of a good good lighting you have here, Jeff. Cool, set in the mood. Yeah, very sure. now. I got my gamer girl lights on, my streaming sort of lights. These are the lights you'd sort of see behind um, Ninja or Pokemane. Who? Pokemon. 
No, are these, no. Are these people? The, these are streamers. These are beloved streamers. The audience knows they're Gen Z. Mm. Me too. Mm-hmm. Setting the vibe. Setting the vibe. Setting the tone. I um for gulp, gulp. you guys and for the, anyone watching on video, you'll notice the T-shirt I'm wearing is the Mastabong Ripper yeah. T-shirt. Uh-huh. And and what if we listen to that song at the end of the episode? That's good, Tim. <laughs> Could be very. Good. And it does tie into a little bit to the drink, which we're not going to. Yeah, we're not, 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 not going to get that to that. If you're watching, you can see the things we have in our hands, but we're not going to mention them. Mm-hmm. If you're listening, you can hear the things in our hands. Mm-hmm. You probably hear a little. <sighs> you you don't hear. <sighs> yeah. No, you don't hear. Amen. <coughs> <Yeah. coughs> or or uh, clink clink, clink clink of the glass of the right. glass or the of, shake shake of that shaker. Oh, the mm-hmm. shake or the grind grind of the grinder. Oh, that <laughs> hurts my ears. That grind 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 of the grinder. <laughs> What an odd little can. Oh, I want to talk so much about it. Should we get into the uh, BN of it all? Booze news. Aha. Ah. Booze news. <laughs> bip, 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 Booze news. Hit it. You scream again. Whitehead suck. <laughs> Won't you come? Cause my son's got kind of a wide head, wide head son. Won't you come? But hey, Jimmy, what do you think of these? It's booze news, you sideshow fucks. Move it, football head. Whitehead Son was sent to us by Tom from Redondo. And if you have a booze news theme, email it to the sloppy boys podcast at gmail.com. Tom is the guy, uh, we know him. He's come to a bunch of shows. He, he programmed the, the, for uh, the game Beat Saber. Oh, he yeah. programmed oh my the, God. Uh, the Mastabong Ripa that track. Cool. That. Did we ever figure that out? What a perfect, yeah. well, this has the perfect song for this based on the drink we're doing. From don't Tom talk from about Redondo. But Tom the from Redondo. Mm-hmm. Tom Ando. Now, if we were smart, this would have been our 420 episode. Uh-huh. Yeah. But me and Mike are going to see Fish at the Sphere. Yes, on that day. So we won't be able to record. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeff was thinking about coming too. Mm, Jeff, you're you in. About it, at least I did. You're That's, in. It's a good thought. I, yeah, I thought about it, and I'm in. <laughs> no, this is a good drink for for now because it's such a curveball, unprecedented yes. on the pod. Right. Oh my god, I, I can't even believe we got away with it. I can't even believe we got away with it. What's the actual booze news? The though? booze news Ooh. is in keeping with the theme of uh, interesting drinks that are perhaps not necessarily alcohol per se. Right, 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 right. right. Um, There is a very big trend that I was wondering if you guys have heard of that I've been meaning to bring up on the pod. And I've been thinking, well, it's it's not boozy, but now here's an episode with uh, no booze in it. Mm -hmm. So maybe I could bring this up finally. And it is the Sleepy Girl Mocktail. You've heard? No. No. I've heard of uh, Skinny Girl. Is it related to that? Skinny Girl Margarita? Unrelated. Damn. I like Skinny Margs, though. Me too. And there was a brand, Skinny Girl, that was like yeah, started by one of the Real Housewives or something. Ah. But I think most bars now just have a Marg that's like soda, like a, a, a yeah. tequila soda with it, lime. It's unfortunately named because the Skinny Marg is generally like the actual Marg, the clean Marg with like lime juice and Cointreau and tequila. Right. Not mix. Now... The Sleepy Girl Mocktail, I've heard, I've not had. This was um, a TikTok thing, I think first happened like a year ago, but then just made its way into my feed very recently. Um, from uh, I think it, there's like TikToker Gracie Norton first made it big, but then, you know, everybody's talking about it on TikTok. It is a mocktail that, uh, you know, after you've eaten your girl dinner and you're ready for girl bed. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, a <laughs> Sleepy Girl mocktail is tart cherry juice. Oh. Magnesium powder oh, and whoa. prebiotic soda. Oh. It looks like a spritz. It's kind of red from the juice. And uh, you're supposed to sleep really well. And and relating it back to alcohol, I've heard in TikTok people like, hey, if you've, if you've been drinking booze, you sleep poorly mm-hmm. when you, after alcohol. If you're looking for a really good night's sleep. Tart cherry. This, Tart cherry juice has melatonin in it. Ah. So instead of popping a pill of melatonin 
And I think your body creates melatonin. That's what makes you mm. fall. So that it also fuzzy creates feeling. tart cherry juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, body. I've had, I've had yeah, just cranberry right that's really tart, but I don't think I've had tart cherry juice. Ooh, I think what? I have. I think I have some tart cherry capsules, caplets, like dehydrated tart cherry. And use them for sleeping. Yes. But then I, I then I heard that you're supposed to drink like a ton of water with them. I don't know, but we should try some tonight. Yes, and have wonderful sleeps. Mm. Also, magnesium powder is one. My mom has mailed me a big canister of magnesium powder. The brand is like Calm, and uh, you're supposed to put that in water and drink it before bed. It helps you sleep. And then the prebiotic soda. I don't know what the deal is. I know probiotic. Prebiotic, I would imagine, comes first. Does probiotic <laughs> mean there's living cultures in there? Yes. I think it's, I think it's professional biotic. Professional biotic. <laughs> I was hoping to ignore that. <laughs> uh, and it's good for you. It's like, uh, it helps you. It helps you. You got your antibiotic. Eat that, your that, shit that. before you shit it. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the, the ecosystem of your bowels. You yes, know? yes. As, you got your prebiotic, which implies the existence of a postbiotic. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Eat it after your shit. <laughs> yeah, you never really lose you touch your with your waste. <laughs> After you've passed waste, it doesn't mean you're done with it. It <laughs> continues to. And the memory lives on. Have a life of its own down there in the I'm sewer. Still, you know that there's that uh, commercial for some uh, medical procedure where, like, you shit in a box and they yes. you set it away and they analyze it for you for yeah. to screening or whatever. Turn box. <laughs> but the fucking commercials are like the little box is like cartoon walking around yeah. with everybody. <laughs> It's yeah. like, like it's gonna go on me later. Yeah, I'm fun. <laughs> or like, is there shit in him now? Yes, like, right. Is he on his yeah, way out? You see it rattling around. Like, <laughs> like, they see it. You see like a family of four, and then like the box is there, like in the bleachers, cheering on the kid or whatever. It's <laughs> Do like, they see? Is he's gonna be shit in later, or is there shit in him now? It does seem inappropriate to be cheering for a guy's kids and he's later going to shit in you. Yeah, it does. It just, I don't know what the, what the relationship social ramifications is. are, but that seems strange. What's the arrangement between those folks? Mm -hmm. I like it better than those Charmin bears. I don't like that one. Yeah, yeah. that one's, it's Nasty. like the good before you go or like. Yeah, like, enjoy the go. Enjoy the go. Enjoy the go? I don't like any of the nomenclature surrounding uh Toilet stuff because I don't like the word squatty potty. I don't like nope. the brand Tushy. Nope. Well, what's Tushy? Tushy's a bidet. You know, oh, that's right, right, right. that you can hook up to. It's a, it, Bidets it, are the thing. It, yeah, but it should be way more popular, but it's yeah. called Tushy. So you're like, I'm not going to buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuck. The Ugh. bidet, I've been Bidet hearing. is a great word. It's French. It's classy. Have you, have you sat on a bidet before? I had a friend who yeah. had, I went to a house with a, one of the ones you're talking about, the Tushy's ones. I've sat in the, like in Europe, I've sat in the original one, blast water up your <laughs> the ass. Original, the original it's, bidet. The, it's a separate toilet King right next to your toilet. <laughs> the very first one. Uh, those ones clay. are strong. The, like, like a real bidet is like. Well, yeah, they got to they gotta get out old like uh, fucking yeah. medieval dingleberries. Uh, fucking uh, old faithful <laughs> guys are shooting me into the Hey, fucking... turn that thing down. I'm shooting through the roof here. <laughs> uh, I think you need a new slate on the roof. <laughs> That's my oh, review boy. of the bidet. Oh boy. I take it day by day, you know? <laughs> Stop. Day Come, on. Day. Come on. Come on. Stop man. that. You know, uh, Jeff is talking about the Wet Hot American Summer uh, movie. Folks, look for summer times coming up. They usually do screenings of that. And that's that's got to be a fun movie to watch in the theaters with sure. a group. I've never seen it. Sure. Boy, oh boy. And sometimes you can it. be like me. You can be a Marate and you see David Wayne. Mm. Hey, nice. The bar Marate. Oh, Marate. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I, I want to be like Jeff and see David Wayne. <laughs> yeah. I want to be like Jeff. I want to be, I want to be. If you want to be like Jeff, you got to see David Wayne. It was nice uh, in that era of Michael Jordan when your name was Mike at that time. And like, I want to be like Mike. Like my uncles yeah, would say cool. that. And it was, it was cool. I was it cool? Uh, for edit for well, like my uncle said it. <laughs> <laughs> for that <laughs> moment. I was like, my uncles know my name. I had a cassette single of the song like mike Ooh, nice yeah i loved it yeah i put it on in the car all the it time. did like feel mike, cool if i could be like mike oh wanna be Was like mike? tie into a McDonald's we should cover thing. that in chicago Damn, that's yeah, good. That's good. Yeah. Wait, wait, could do was that a promotional song? It. Da, da, da. Was it a promotional yeah, it's like song? A Nike just, song? Just for Mike, a Nike song. Oh, Nike. I had a different or single. Gatorade. Yeah, or Hanes. 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 Like Duracell. <laughs> Haterade. <laughs> I think it was that uh, shit box thing. We were yeah, talking I think about. it was that shit box. I want to um, feel Mike shit in I, my head. I had a single for Free the World, Free Willy, uh, Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson wow. a different Mike. 
Mm. Yeah, jumped over the uh, a different MJ the at the end. Different MJ. That whale really left over that boy, didn't he? Yep. Whew. Have you seen Blackfish? Yeah, I have. Mm-hmm. Sad. It's mm-hmm. funny that SeaWorld is still going after Blackfish. Isn't that funny? It's like too big to fail, and it's like, well, we heard all the things, but we all we've just got we, so many people coming in that we're not going to stop. We like making money. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh, have you seen the Cove? Now what's that? The dolphin one. Yeah, the dolphin massacre. Yes, I that so. movie is for Hayden being Panettiere do- in that. It's a documentary. I think she. No, but but like she was like an activist who I, I think, think you're right. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think, I think you're right. right. Uh, what's amazing about that one? Like it's a, <laughs> it's a it's a uh, documentary, but you couldn't script better. But I mean, like there's the, it, some horrible stuff happens, but the protagonist. Yeah. Is the the environmentalist, uh, like the activist trying Mm. to free the dolphins, is the guy who trained dolphins for the TV show Flipper. And and Flipper made dolphin tricks and stuff part of the mainstream. And that's what led to SeaWorld and all that stuff. Ah, So he had a, he felt guilt. He had like a, he he was at fault for this. So that's why he was like, he was going to Washington, D.C. and well, like trying to get legislation and stuff like that because he did it. I wonder if he worked on uh, Ace Ventura. Pet Detective. Uh huh. There's or When Nature Calls because there's uh, no pre- dolphins. The first one. Okay, okay, <laughs> because there's no dolphins in When Nature 94, Calls. 94, 94. I'm sticking There's with. a lot of guano. <laughs> Bat mm-hmm. turd. They can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that joke? She's uh, a virgin. Or they, yeah, she's not a virgin. They can tell that. <laughs> I haven't seen two When Nature Ever? Calls. Not all the way through. It's it's uh, got classic uh, sequel vibes where like in the first one he really pompadoured his hair up to look like that, and the second one it's a wig, you know, like that type of thing. Like just, yeah, it's like really. Oh, exactly. probably he's like, I'm a star now, and I've got other projects. <laughs> also, isn't he like getting shit out by a rhino yep. at some point? Yeah, yep. that's a good. That's the classic. Part. Wait, wait, his head is just his head is coming out of a rhino's. No, butt. he slides he, out. He flies out. Yeah, he's like uh, in there. It's like a little control room. <laughs> he's like staking out. He's doing a surveillance thing, but he's inside. inside. His- but I think rhino. he's getting hot and he, in there, so he takes all of his clothes yeah, off. So then when he's, he's trying to get socks. out, he slides out and looks <laughs> like he's being birthed and some tourists are like, <gasps> <laughs> Well, you know what? For next, that this is great. this is going to lead right into our next uh, <clears throat> blowout for next week. Yes. Our next yes, Wednesday's yes, yes. blowout on the Patreon, folks. So if you don't get the Patreon, if you're not a, a subscriber to the Sloppy Boys blowout. You miss out. If you're not a Patron, you gone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to be watching and talking about... Um, Tom Green, Freddy Got Fingered. Tom Green's Freddy, Freddy Got Fingered. Never seen over here. Mm-hmm. I've seen him. You've seen? Tim I saw no, when it came Tim out. No see? I've never seen. I can't wait. I know it was recently added to the Criterion channel. I know that it's... Uh, it's hip now. It's, it's hip. hip to be square. I was a huge Tom Green kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Green Me show too. loved it. Yeah, yeah. That and Jackass were paired up uh, Sunday nights on MTV. Perfect. And I was like, this is made for me. I'm the demo. Well, I, I, were, I was uh, staying at Neil and Fran's house for some of this trip. And Fran was saying people at work, she's writing on a show right now, were like talking about it and they were watching it. So I watched a little bit of it at their house. But uh, I was like, oh, people are talking about this movie. Mm-hmm. We'll tell, we'll we're sort of ahead of the, the curve, though. Yeah, so we're ahead. We were talking we about started it first, yeah. always ahead. We've been talking about maybe doing this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for booze news, I think. Wrap it up. Now, here we go. This is the, whoops, this is the, the big Tom reveal. Show? This is the big this reveal. This is the Tom Green Show. <laughs> it's not, not the, the Green Tom, Tom Show. Whatever happened to Glenn Humplick, huh? That's a good He's question. He's doing fine. I don't even know if he makes it in the movie. We'll see. How about that guy who sat on set just drinking a Phil? coffee mug and laughing? <laughs> Phil. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, oh, Jackass also had a Phil. Interesting. <laughs> so did Viva Be- Lobe. <laughs> we, so we need to find that Bam Margera movie and watch that, too. Oh, uh, what did I say? It was no, called, it was called something. <laughs> That's the weird. sequel to his other grind. No, nah. oh, we should watch grind. Did he direct grind? I don't know, but he's in it. I do remember <laughs> him doing uh, promos for it, like live interstitial, not live, but interstitials on Comedy Central during a block of movies. And uh, he's like, "Yo, I'm Ben Margera. You got to come see my movie Grind. It's got me. It's got Shooter McGavin. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he's in the, the character name from a different movie. Ming, Ming Hags was the movie. I'm Ming thinking. Hags. Ming uh, Hags. Haggard is his first movie. Haggard, and right. and like that was one that actually got a little heat because it was 2003 or whatever. And it's oh yeah, so it's got like uh, his old buddy. It's got like Brandy Camillo and all them in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, uh, okay. So here's the big secret reveal. Today we're doing a drink called Paps Blue Ribbon High Seltzer. 
This is THC infused right. seltzer, non-alcoholic. 10 mg's of THC. This this uh, we're drinking daytime guava. It's called. Yeah, it's a good flavor. This also has five grams of THCV. We don't know what that is. We that, asked. We asked. It is a just a different cannabinoid. Great she, thing. She Great. says. She says. I was worried. I was like, because I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't be able right. to handle fifteen milligrams of THC. But she was like, this is ten milligrams of THC. But then the 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 mg THCV. Keeps you focused. She oh, said, yes, she that's said it was good. good for focus. And she said it suppresses your appetite, huh. which is interesting because usually I would got runaway munchies. Let's see if this. <laughs> yeah. Well, they had another one too with. Uh, I'm, I just took a picture of with uh, the 10 THC, three milligrams CBN and two milligrams CBD. Okay. CBD. Well, well uh, CBD, I know. Yeah, that one I know. CBM. Uh, THCV. Maybe this reminds me of that like fake weed you'll find sometimes. Oh yeah, the stuff oh. we got in North Carolina. Yeah, it was like at hopscotch. Delta, Delta five. It, yeah. yeah, what was it? Or it was T T H H or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, I don't know what that was, but um, yeah. So we're trying these drinks out, and we we wanted to start them early in the show because you know they might yeah. take a second to seep in to kick in. Although what I read, uh, I'm going to introduce the drink in well, right about now. What I read is that it it's they're they're like promo. Uh, article for it was like, and this, uh, you know, gets into your system a little quicker than gummy. So you can kind of feel oh. the buzz quicker. Ooh, a different kind that of buzz. That makes sense. You, you digest liquids faster than foods. Yeah. Uh, but this is, so this is Pap, from Paps Room. It came out in 2020. Uh, what is it now? 2024. Yeah. But this was around the time they were doing Paps Blue Ribbon Forever was... We got one beer, mm -hmm. and we're selling it to the guys in the factories. And now it's two thousand. We're selling it to the hipsters, right? <laughs> yep. And Tim, you've been to the factory, I believe. That's maybe uh, uh, from a different episode. Yeah, I, I toured the 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 the, cam the old like I guess you called campus in uh, Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be in Milwaukee playing shows. Ooh, Ooh. that would be fun. Maybe a little um, tour. Pabst Blue Ribbon. What's funny about it is like it was huge. Like. When it won the blue ribbon in uh, 1896, yes, it, it was like between like Miller, Pabst, and and Budweiser. It could could have gone either way. Ooh. Pabst was right up there. And then, in fact, I I heard uh, this thing about I listened to this podcast, Business Wars, that did a whole season of Bud versus Miller, and they talked about this. But um, that the World's Fair in Chicago, 1896 or whatever that was. <laughs> There wasn't actually, they, they, uh, all the beer, the big beer barons were excited that their beers are going to be on display at this World's Fair, but there wasn't actually going to be a competition. Mm. And then Pabst wanted to win a competition. So the Pabst guy, they're all like names like Kurt Cornelius Pabst and stuff like that. He was like, can there be like, like they like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they bought the blue ribbon that they want, you know, like <laughs> just to ensure that that would happen. But, um, and then, or just called it Blue Ribbon, right? Or well, they did win. There was some, there was some voting that happened, but it was like perhaps like forced it to happen, and, well, and they won. But that's great. They brought it <laughs> upon themselves. We should be the uh, annual. Uh, we should be the first winners of the Sloppy Award, the, the yeah. Sloppy Boys Awards. It's a big yeah, deal. for excellence in music <laughs> and podcasting. Yeah, that's good. There's very few crossovers like that, but we're hey, what do you know? We're really good ones. Um, have you had this before? Um, I no, you. no, I've never I've had, had any a, a THC thing. I had this on Labor Day is the end of the summer, but the beginning of the summer? Memorial Day? Memorial Day. Coming up. I was uh, grilling and chilling with our friend Jocelyn. Grilling and chilling with our friend Jocelyn. Thank you. I'm flipping <laughs> burgers. I'm making dogs. Um, we drank some of these, and uh, what was great was it always takes stuff like this a long time for, to kick in with me, but um, mm. I- uh, I'm feeling a little bit now. Can't yeah. tell if it's. Uh, I'm not yet. I can't tell if it's placebo huh? or not. It could just be the euphoric effects of hanging out with me and Jeff. Yes, yeah, right. And the lighting. We put on <laughs> some funky lighting. Yeah, here put, on, put on some funky blinkers. Man. Um, but I think I told you about this wonderful night. Was that we we had a little grill and chill, and then I drank one of those, and it hadn't really kicked in yet. And I went home, and then it was the day <laughs> I was. It was the day of the king's coronation. <laughs> more, more important, actually, right around that time, Ooh. and we should look up the dates to see how close it was because it was the day that season three of I think you should leave dropped. Oh, oh, yeah, and, I know this story. And then I was, <laughs> I had gotten home from this barbecue, and I was high on this stuff, and I was sitting on my couch, and it was seven o'clock, and I'm like, 
how am I going to make it till midnight? I want to, it kills me to think that anyone on earth would get to watch a Tim Robinson sketch before me. <laughs> yeah, so right. I have to be right there at midnight. <laughs> and, uh, but it was seven o'clock and I was like, had eaten 12 burgers and, and drank this thing and I was sleepy. And then I, it was amazing. I time warped. I fell asleep and I woke up at midnight. <laughs> and I was like, I wished, I, I dreamed and wished that it would be midnight. And then I People happened. say angels don't exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this was a me. miracle. I tell them that story. It was, it was amazing. I was like, oh, and it, it was like light outside it and then it went to dark. And then I was like, eh, <laughs> and, and you watch the whole six. Laugh episodes. my ass off. And sure. uh, come on. Uh, I mean, don't mind doggy door. Oh, the best. You must be laughing. I, I laughed my Crazy. ass off. Monsters on the so world. So that's the only time I've had this. <laughs> the world. And that was my only experience with a beverage, with a sure. yeah. weed beverage. The, the first you thing go. you'll notice about this is the, is the, the, cap tab that we, the, the tab that we all struggled with in the beginning. Yeah. It's you sort have to of pop up something and then slide yeah, it back. Yeah, you have to like break a safety seal and then you pry it and then you can slide it back. But then, yeah. folks, you can reseal it for later because you're not supposed to necessarily have it all at once. Oh, yeah. You know, that's probably a little bit like because they probably know people don't know their levels of THC they can take. And it's this is like a, all right, you can pl uh, put it back in a place so you don't go nuts with it. Yeah. And this is 10 mil. THC and I would say doesn't um, really have any fizz to it. So yeah, I've I've uh it's been a while for me, but I think that ten is a lot. I would be, I'm not I would, sure. I don't I'd really, maybe be a five guy. Ten's too much for me. Like the normal like a like a Camino edible is like five, mm. and if I have ten, it's way too much. So this will be way too much for me. But I want, but it's also weird because it takes time to drink it. So maybe it's not all hitting you at the same time. Mm. And, okay. and the first thing that, that strikes you is the taste. Let's maybe talk about taste before we talk about effect. Yeah, this is and again, well, should, this well, is, should we take a break? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I, I don't even think I finished all my stuff. So yeah. uh, the in 2020, they came started coming out with this. No, in 2019, they had like different styles of paps. They had like light and heavy or whatever. Then they come out with 2019. They come out with the coffee. Remember Paps Coffee? Yeah. Yes. This is an episode of this. Not huh? soon after or that, they were like, all right, let's try this THC thing. And that is like, uh, you know, Paps had been the one thing for so long. And now they're expanding. This is, there are only certain states where you can get this stuff. California's one, New York's one. Uh, it's, you know, where it's legal, I guess. Uh, kind of a ballsy move. Like, you don't see Bud Light doing shit move, like this. But also, but they might be, but we just don't. <laughs> they I'm sure might they, be, yeah. I'm sure they're all developing it, but like nobody wants to take the first plunge. Yeah. They want to be and And this isn't safe. like, it, I was trying to understand how it works. And it's, I think there's some legality stuff that if someone knows the, the law would understand it. But like, this is... There's a thing called Paps Labs that's trying to do more with marijuana, but this is technically made by another company and distributed through Paps, but okay. whatever. That hey, is. it's all the same to me, the consumer. Yeah, it's, it just depends on... It, once it could be as a federal, uh, it's legal federally, then I think they'll own it all. And what's funny is that Paps, uh, uh, they make like 28 brands of beer. Like Paps makes Lone Star and, and ah. other brands. Like, so it's funny. Now, when do you know if that was part of like a later thing? That I'm um, talking about, like, if they yeah, that, get I mean, wise that's probably not as recent. I mean, I probably started in the '90s or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, one cool Pabst thing I, I I think I've told you guys is that I learned this on the tour that uh, they we knew it as a indie sleaze era. Uh, uh, yes, a cool beer that would be like two dollars, and mm -hmm. lots of the the East Side clubs had them and stuff. But before that happened. In the early 90s, in the Pacific Northwest, the grunge guys started drinking Pabst Blue Ribbon and they, because it fits with like the workman aesthetic of wearing, collar, like, yeah. like, like wearing flannel and dickies and uh, like uh, Levi's and like being like a workman vibe about your rock and roll. Function mm -hmm. over form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they were buying Pabst Blue Ribbon just both because it's cheap and it was like straightforward and it, and it wasn't, they weren't advertising and they, um, the Pabst people like in Milwaukee were like, our sales are spiking in Washington state. What's happening? And then when they found that out, they were like, oh, like they thought like, oh, maybe we should start like marketing this uh, to that. And then like, no, and the market research said, no, no, don't. don't do nothing. It's it's doing well because it isn't all over exactly. the media. Exactly. Ah, and if they would have come out with like grunger commercials, it would have ruined yeah, it. Yeah. But they just let it go. So they cut their advertising budget from like low to zero. Mm -hmm. And then that happened again in the 2000s with like indie rock. Uh, just That's like cool. people just like a beer that doesn't advertise. Hmm. I remember my dad, uh, not my dad, my friend's dad, Keith's dad. 
Um, <laughs> he had Pabst in the basement. It was the first time I ever saw it. You know, you don't drink, but you know Bud Light. Yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. And I remember I remember thinking like, <laughs> your dad has that weird German beer in the basement. <laughs> oh, and it was just Pabst? Yeah. And like, we, we, we weren't even reaching for that. We've had uh, Captain Morgan Parrot Bay and we had <laughs> we Aftershock and, and like, yeah. you know, we're trying other things, Kahlua. But the Pabst Blue Ribbon, I was like, oh, it must be disgusting. Yeah, yeah. And of course, even in college, you're drinking Keystone Light, you're drinking Milwaukee's Best, you're mm -hmm. drinking Bud Light. I think only in Naturally. LA was I like getting into Pabst. And, and I really do like it. I like the simplicity. Me of too. It. I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, let's take that break. We're done with our let's what we would it. do here, I guess. Uh, the, the ingredient the ingredient list is get one and pop it open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, open up your ears, open up your wallets. Here come the ads. We'll be right back after this. Yeah, we're back, man. <laughs> oh. That was just us taking a sip. That, that was just a, a big sip. Exhaling after a yeah. sip. Uh, with the Paps Blue Ribbon, high seltzer in hand. Paps in hand. I'm already done with mine. Yeah, you should. I wanted to it. finish it wow. quick so I can get the effects still on the pod. Yeah. I got a little bit left. Um, Timothy? I've, I've got a little bit left. And yeah, I, I feel it kicking in a little bit, but I'm... Pretty soon, I'm going to start forgetting everything I say. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah, I, get I you, can yeah. feel that I'm going to be one of them. Like, what were we just talking about? Right, right, right. Uh, that's that's my uh, Achilles heel. Achilles heel with weed, and I don't mind if I'm with people who are also smoking weed at the time. But right. when you're in a situation, you're like, oh shit, I went to this party and sure, I didn't know people weren't smoking. Okay, I'm going to be the guy who, and, and usually, mm -hmm. I'll do say be in a situation, be like, am I? Do I feel high to like a friend? Like, no, not at all. And you're like, oh yes, okay, Perfect. it's all in my head. Well, Mike, now for now, just picture yourself being on stage in front of a mic in front of seventeen thousand weekly listeners. <laughs> da -na -na -na. Does that help? Da -na -na -na. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. Hey, folks. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> we love you. Hey. Um, I remembered another good fact about Pabst, if you want to hear. Yes. Shout it from the mountaintops. We got the time. So, you know, during the uh, during Prohibition, uh, oh, alcohol yeah. companies. Uh, not to date myself, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 200 years old. Uh, those are good. Those college days were good. <laughs> Um, the companies that made boozy stuff had to pivot to making other things to like stay in business for that decade. Mm. Pabst was like, oh, we're in the Midwest. Let's make cheese. And they started making this cheese that was like not really like fully dairy. And so it had to be called cheese food. And then the prohibition ends. They go back to making beer and they sell their cheese food off to craft who calls it Velveeta. Hey. Wow. From Pabst to Kraft. From Pabst to Kraft. <laughs> I, I would like to know the story of why it's called Velveeta. Like that sounds like it's a- it's so velvety. Oh. But, but it sounds like, like Velveeta kind of sounds Italian a little bit, but like it's velvety, yeah, yeah. it's soft. It's like- I, I, Kraft just, yeah, like they're good at coming up with, I, I one time uh, Googled, um, what's that island off the coast of LA? Catalina? Catalina. Catalina salad dressing. Oh, yeah. I Googled that to be like, oh, is that really from Catalina? And it's like, no, it's like Kraft headquarters. Mm -hmm. They just were oh, like yeah, coming yeah. up with names and Catalina just sounded like, because it's, the, I think it's like their French dressing. Damn. They just called it Catalina. It's kind of like that's Paradiso. Crazy. Yeah. They're right, right, right. It's, no, that's, like that's a reference to Dante. That's true. The Divine Comedy. That's true. The taste isn't bad. No, right? it's fine. Guava, uh, daytime guava, well, like, whatever you're not, you're not really drinking it for the taste, I don't think. No, I don't think so. But it's like. I'd rather drink this taste than a White Claw. I mean, I would say it even tastes better than my beloved Red Bull. Mm, or or yeah. my new favorite, Celsius. Have you guys had Celsius? No, you were talking about those. Woo-wee. This does have a little tinge of like, what's that, taurine? It's, it doesn't taste taurine, but there is a little mm. tinge of like... Are we talking like artificial maybe it's just sweetener? The, well, maybe it's the like uh, weed back taste or something. That's funny something. to me that you think you know what taurine tastes like. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, is it when you drink Red Bull? Like, oh, is <laughs> like, I'm, I'm familiar with all the other flavors know, within know, this. I, he, he I, meant, that I meant like where the taurine sort of hits in your... The ah. flavor profile. It's like there a little bit, but it's not right in your face. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'd have to try to sip the test tube at Red Bull Labs. <laughs> Mm. I just mean there's a little something in here that feels fabricated. Yeah. Um, 
Red Bull is a real strong sense memory for me that when I drink, and I, I use it quite frequently, but I use it to rally. If I got to go out, but I'm tired and I'm feeling whiny and nappy, but mm. I got to go out on a Saturday night, I drink Red Bull. So now the other day I drank a Red Bull like in the middle of the day for some reason. And it, I was like, whew. Feels like I'm grumpy on Saturday night, but it's somebody's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> That's like the most specific birthday. feeling. It's good, like tiredness insurance. Like if you're afraid you're going to be tired, like yeah. oh, I got to go out and I, I'm afraid I'll be tired. You just drink one of those. I'm if, leaving the home in fear. <laughs> and, and it vanquishes it. It's funny that what caffeine Shing. does. <laughs> I, thought, zone Shing. Shing. I thought caffeine like gave you energy. Gives you wings. No, you forget you're tired. <laughs> exactly. It like interrupts the, in, the, the receptors that oh. tell Really? tell you that you're tired so your body is fatigued but your brain doesn't know <laughs> that's i feel like that's why you when i was trick. drinking coffee my my brain was or my thought process was just like i won't sleep much but i'll drink coffee at work tomorrow right and then by the end of the week i'm dead and i'm like oh that's yeah. why it is mm -hmm. i never got the sleep you just i cut needed. it off from your brain damn you gotta sleep love to sleep yeah you can't rob peter to pay paul as they say right 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 i've got something to say go ahead Actually, Wait, something this, this is kicking. We're all smiling and like, yeah, this is for sure. For sure. I'm, I, yeah, this is great. And I also forgot what I wanted to say. Shit. We'll get there. No, I got it. Yeah. Um, that's funny, though. If you really actually do forget, sometimes I can like try so hard and it feels like I'm like going into a different dimension to reach back into my brain and catch the thing. Like Winnie, I'll the, often Winnie need the Pooh to, doing like, think, think, think. Yeah. think. <laughs> I'll often need to go back into like, like if I thought of something at this the kitchen sink, I'll have to go back there and be like, yes. Oh, I do, oh. It happens all the time on my phone too. I'll be like on Instagram. They're like, oh, what I was going to look at. And then now I forget, go back to Instagram. And I was like, yes, that was the picture that made me think of it. You know what, I, what has mm. been happening to me a lot? I'm on a walk or a drive or something. And I'm at like a, uh, an intersection and I'm at I a crossroads in life. I'm at a crossroads in life. No, I'll be at a spot. And then I'll remember an episode of a podcast I listened to mm. while I was there last Me time. Me too. So yeah. like, oh, like I think I Running jogged again. here one yep. time and I was like listening yeah, to yeah. an episode of Serial or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. Interesting how the brain uh, it's wondrous. works. Before we lose it, do you remember what you were going to say? Yes, I was going to ask you guys. Oh boy, you, now we're on the spot. What's your favorite munchy food? No. <laughs> Wait, yeah, when did that first come up? <laughs> What's your favorite? Oh, yeah. 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 favorite pig out junk food? Pig, man. Yeah, favorite pig out junk food. Yeah, junk food. That was so shit, fun. man. When I if, if I have the munchies, I can go. I can eat anything. <laughs> On anything. Well, we were talking. I can about mix how. and match. Uh, I can do. <laughs> Ham and cheese roll-ups, and then some Ben and Jerry's right after it. And you know I'm going to have uh, orange juice and orange cheese and juice crackers. And cheese. Yeah. I, it's so funny to me if, you, if you're if you in the mood for the munchy stuff and you look in your fridge and you just have like normal food and you're like, I guess I'll just indulge <laughs> in like this normal food. Because yeah. I'm eating a soup. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, okay, beef like, barley cool. soup. It's 11 p.m. <laughs> soup for me. I would probably put like maybe like too much Tabasco in it or something. Yeah, Something, something to make it a stunt, make yeah. it a, make it a fun food. The the thing I think with the munchies and when I'm eating so much, a lot of the time it's like just a um, the texture thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I just like the to eat this stuff and like be swallowing big gobs of yeah. cheese and crackers. <laughs> well, that's like um, one time on Benoit's to, to me, I ate a. Uh, Mrs. Frizzle's chocolate or something like a Harry Potter chocolate. Mm, yeah. And it had pop rocks in it that I was not expecting. Yeah. And I was like, I thought it was like fireworks oh. in my skull. I was like, <laughs> but it was cool. Tim, ha you got to remind me of this, Tim. I was going to look at, look at it up on uh, amazon.com. What were the name of those chocolates you gave me the other night? He had these toffee rolls. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. So, well, I like I a toffee, know. though, an English it was toffee. Like, well, t it was like, like a, those turtles you used to get. Yeah. They were very, very Dutton-esque. Or the Heath, the Heath bar. Yeah. yeah. These were like sticks, and they were kind of chewy. I forget the name, but it's like almond rotan. Ro Rocha, 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 Rocha. Rogan. But it was, it was like almost like, uh, you know, the flip side of a, a crunch bar. Got crumb, it's kind of oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Textury, it, yeah. it was that wrapped around a toffee. Damn, how'd they wrap it? Uh, chocolate wrapped around a toffee. toffee. Yeah, just chocolate, like and then almonds on the toffee. outside, almonds just like on the outside. Rush. But it, felt, it had that crunchiness to it. Damn, wrapped in a cellophane, ultimately, and in a box. Where, and you, you don't know where you got them. <laughs> um, that's what well, I wanted they to know. They I couldn't break them last night, so ah. <laughs> um, this will be a good Google. Um, anyway, so good. yeah, sorry. I have a show and tell 
that I, this is my ulterior motive when I ask you your favorite munchie food. Oh. Um, is. Nerds. Nerds rope or nerds gummy clusters? I didn't, hold on. Can I, I have to talk about nerds gummy clusters yeah. for a second. I, I either, I think it was the last one. We just recorded an episode before this. I had them at Barbenheimer. You know, uh, the company that makes nerds, it might just be called nerds. Wonka. I, I'm not sure. Is it, oh, it's Wonka. It's Wonka. You're right. Wonka. They're in the candy yeah. aisle. <laughs> Their stock they're was in the candy space. pretty much the same for years and years and years. What is Wonka doing differently? All of a sudden, the past five years, they go up. Nerds, specifically. Specifically, nerds clusters. Really? That like gummy technology, whatever, like got, because nerds are weird to eat. It's yeah. just, they just go all over. I love them, but <laughs> yeah, it's like right. this tech gummy technology <laughs> worked and Dude, helped. They're you're right. got Chalamet Look, making movies about yeah. the guy. You're right, because the form factor of the original nerds were a little cardboard Box. cigarette box that yeah. you carry around we have some of those in and, the digman writers room they're great and you'd slip you'd off them. you'd slip off the side of the top oh, and you dump them in your hand and they'd be like sand you had to slip it out but like also perforate it like that would always just kind of get ripped yeah. off on my and, and it's just like <laughs> and you're putting pebbles a box, a in your, in your like wet hand and then you you you, you toss <laughs> yeah. them in your, now you gotta drink them from the box inevitably you got one or two stuck to your wet oh, hand yeah. Yeah. disgusting <laughs> this is the form factor of nerds was what was getting in its way the whole time it needed to be a gun cluster yeah have you had big chewy nerds big chewy nerds yeah so those are a little different right they're just yeah, yeah they're yeah, just yeah. little they're, they're like skittle sized like, nerds yeah, yeah, yeah exploded yeah. in a way they're like freeze dried and they they're popped or something shell is thin <laughs> they pop them like popcorn yeah, take a what, normal that, nerd and put it under heat <laughs> that's what it seems like it seems like they popped a nerd like popcorn all right now you were talking i went off on, on i have a show and tell which was hmm. you guys know my late favorite late night crunchy munchy Fritos. Yes. Oh, yeah. Any and flavor. flavor. House, my and God, I like we should have brought those. Yes. And uh, well, here's what I, I, I he did. brought. <laughs> he brought them. <laughs> now, and I've got all the surprises today. Um, I didn't get any normal Fritos, but here's the thing. Uh, it, other than normal mm -hmm. Fritos, the easiest to come by is chili cheese. These right. ones. Like yeah, you may have even those, those seen that in a Frito-Lay variety pack. Now getting a little fancier than that. Uh, we got the uh, flame and hot. You know, this flame and hot. Everything. Okay. Those last I like those that good. powder. Okay. Well, if you want to get a little fancier, we have the honey barbecue flavor twists. Ooh, they look okay. like fusilli. Honey barbecue. But now here's the. Uh, HBBQ. <laughs> now here's the crown jewel. And this is open because I was snagging on it. The crown jewel of my collection that I you can't find in LA. So I ordered it off the internet. <gasps> These are the Fritos that got made me Frito crazy. A year ago, I was in Arizona, yeah, and I ate chorizo and chipotle Fritos. Wow, they're made in Mexico, so you can only get them like closer to the border. Gotcha. And now, the first time I ate these, I said, "Ew, it tastes like liver." And then the next night, I went kind of back in there, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "Peeled one more off the top." It does taste like liver, but there's a challenge. I enjoy the challenge. And once I, I acquired a taste for this, and now it's like my favorite snack on earth. They got really crushed there's in something the, by good the mailman. about this flavor. Right? It's, oh, it tastes okay. like jerky at first. And I get with the liver thing. Meat. It tastes like an animal mm. is involved. It's got like a, huh, mm -hmm. that huh taste. Yes, there's a back of your throat <laughs> that is really surprising, much like the Pop Rock chocolate. You don't see it coming and go, <laughs> Meat, yeah. Thank you. Now that those are good and I, I enjoy them. I am not in the mood to have another bite at this moment. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 if you're in the mood, great. If you're not, I'm like, right now, that's disgusting. I'm never well, really a free dude guy because they're so buttery. They're so so baked and buttery. Are very, that, yeah. that, Scoops are even more buttery. That yeah. gets uh, on top of me. Um, <laughs> that gets on me. Uh, I like that, though, because I like liver. When you said that. I thought it was going to be grossed out. Liverwurst. It reminded me of liverwurst when I was a kid. I used to love liverwurst because I'm with you. I thought, yeah, I, I love the sound of like, hey, <laughs> I like liverwurst. Right. Because you're a nasty, nasty boy. boy. Yeah. I was a little nasty boy about it. I would, yeah, man. I, my mom would make me liverwurst on an onion bag, toasted onion bagel. Ooh, stanky. Double mm -hmm. stank. With uh, mustard on it. Oh, oh, I'd say thank you, mommy. But the, the snack your mom made all the time for you? Slices of tomato with mayo swirled on it. That was more of a dinner thing. Yeah, that, that was dinner. That was like a Appetizer? summer dinner. Uh, maybe a steak on the grill. We got to corn like on the cob. And you know what? It is a little bit. Uh, yeah. This uh, high seltzer is not giving me like the munchies at all. 
Yeah, right. Well, it's that C, uh, THC uh, X, Mike. THC V. Yeah. It's an appetite suppressant. It's a focus. I learned that at the uh, drink presentation earlier today. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you you were out there. All right, so that was hitting with people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Because I, I, when I do those, I'm like, eh, this is the boring part. It's different. <laughs> it's different. Now we went to go get these at a uh, um, at a dispensary around here. I don't know if we're going to name them. They haven't given us any money. Don't. Um, but the dispensary is a funny world. You go, yeah. the ones here, even the ones in New York, the, or I went to one in Chicago, you walk in and it's like, kind of yeah. looks like a Mac store or yeah. the space is trying its best to look like a Mac store. They got iPads. We're talking. What do you want? Mac okay, store, did, 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 did. because it's like the product is like, you can see it, but uh, don't touch yeah. it or don't get too close yeah. to it. You can't really do much with it right now. Yeah, I guess like Apple does have the stuff out, but it does feel like, oh, it's fancy, but we're walking you through this. Mm -hmm. You're not, we're not just let setting you free. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We, you need us to like finish this whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, um, do you remember the first one we went to in San Francisco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, it was just oh, like, yeah. it was, it was like, a, like a, oh, that felt crazy because it was before LA had them. It felt crazy. It felt like right. going into a storage container, but then it felt yeah, like yeah, a yeah. bank with like double reinforced glass and you had to, like, it was even more walled off. Yeah. It looked like a, like a crazy doctor's office on one side and then behind this thick, that thick glass. Yeah. Like a doctor's a, office when, when there's like a, um, a, a disaster and they got like set up stuff yeah, right yeah. away. Like FEMA, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, felt like, it felt like this disaster relief, like weed store. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but it worked. I remember we showed up for, I want to say Sketchfest or something yeah. like that and saw posters and ads for like, you can get weed here now. I remember, yeah, I remember you and Chris buying some and it was like, wow, they're really doing it. The first <laughs> time I went to one you have to give over your uh, ID card. I was like, wait, who's, where's, where's this going? Right. Who's this going? Am I on a list the government now? is putting you on a no fly list. Yeah. Don't it's, fly the plane. <laughs> it's funny if you buy something too easy. Like, have you ever just been in like a head shop and you're like, oh, are these pre-rolls? I'll buy these. And then like, they didn't check my ID. This is just like a no, like, skateboard <laughs> shop or whatever. And it was like, it's always fake. I always told those are like sometimes mixed with tobacco too. Yeah, and stuff. They feel a total fake. Oof, out. They always feel a little. <clears throat> I remember for a time you could buy salvia. Just no ID. I don't think. Salvia. I don't know if I ever actually bought it personally, but people had know. it around Ithaca campuses. You could like remember that was a thing at Ithaca. Yeah, you could buy it at head shops, and it would just be like we have we have three X and ten X yeah. strength, maybe even ten X or three. Thing? It was like a th I never I never did that one. Yeah, kids in my dorm would like yeah. tr trip for three minutes. Right, that was the thing. It was like you you it's like a really intense thing, and then it goes away. Mm. That doesn't sound that sound crazy Nasty. <laughs> to me. Um, this is good. Great. <laughs> oh, this is good great just check it in this is good great should we take a little break uh yeah do us uh what would you do different yeah okay if, if you were in the uh in the paps labs <laughs> and you they said hey jeff tim <laughs> next mike what would you do different we'll think about that yeah i'll think hard mm -hmm. okay folks i keep forgetting every thought but i'll try to remember <laughs> to think about that smoke two joints before i smoke two joints mike stop and then i smoke two more <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back after more messages. And we're back with our final thoughts on the Paps Blue Ribbon High Seltzer Daytime Guava. Yeah. I wonder how many of our listeners are uh, smoke marijuana or drink THC. Drink THC. <laughs> half. I, I I drink THC. You think half? I'm saying half. I think it's I think it's yeah, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. In New York and LA, it's like you walk down the street and you smell it so much more than. But like, it's because it was illegal during our growing up. Mm -hmm. You you smell it now and you're like, oh, okay. Oh wait, it's fine. Like, hey, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. Okay. Bye. <laughs> so you can just fully smoke it in public, like it's a cigarette. I think the deal is wherever you can smoke cigarettes, you can do. Like you, wow. you, you can't just smoke in a restaurant or right. like that, that you're a patioed area. That's cool. It does feel very permissive though, huh? Mm -hmm. Compared to what we, yeah, what we grew up with. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Permissive is good. Now promiscuous, on the other hand, uh, careful. You know, Conrad Helton's great granddaughter was okay. dabbling in that a little too okay. much. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I don't want to get into that. What yeah, that, that is not your business, by the way. Um, now you had an anecdote you wanted to unfurl before us, the listener. Yes, I wanted to tell you a funny story that I remember during the break. And it's a real story. It sounds like I'm setting up. Oh, yeah, one, yeah. This is not a. <laughs> this um, is not like the time. Oh, which I mean to tell you guys, I just saw. Um, I don't know. 
<laughs> the, go, the Go-Go's the other day. And what did they want to say? What are they? <laughs> the Go-Go's, I guess. <laughs> you've got the weed. You've got the weed. Okay. <laughs> you've got the weed. Um, no, I was just remembering an embarrassing text I sent Ooh. while under the influence of THC, Ouch. which was that I... Um, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm a noob, right? So I hey, was, mom and dad, I'm not voting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was on vacation with our friend Ben. Nice. In Arizona where these chorizo chips were. Hot, hot, hot. Anyway, we're going to like. Spring training. Spring training. Thank you. Um, but uh, Ben had like a, not, a, not a, a bowl, not a bong, but a pipe. And it was kind of small. And I don't really know how to use that type of thing. So not a Gandalf pipe, not a big long pipe. No, no. Uh, uh, a like wizard a, a is piece. never early or late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the <laughs> just a little straightforward, a little nothing. It's just like the smallest amount of anything. But I didn't know how to uh, use it. So I sucked on it too hard. And the flame oh. went from the lighter to through the whole pipe and down my lungs mm -hmm. and burned my throat. And um, maybe I, you had some of the ash go in there or something. I did feel I sucked so hard on the thing. I think I was drunk. You, you pulled through. I sucked through. so hard on the thing. I got, yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they, they call that you pulled through. I pulled. I pulled through. <laughs> you can believe it. Um, so it scorched me. And then I was sort of like waiting for it to uh, the pain to subside. And then it really just was lingering. And my throat was burnt and I started to worry, like, what did I do to my throat? My oh taste my buds, especially my, my, and my taste buds and compromised <laughs> my taste buds. And let's be honest, I'm a singer. My throat. Yeah, oh, I yeah, need that. Sure. We, I said, the All right. you can't get up there anymore. It could be because of that. Wow. But wow. on the night he sings his, he lives his singing life. <laughs> <laughs> He skins. 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 Skinny life. I certainly skins. Anyway, he tells it better. Go ahead, Tim. Um, <laughs> no, well, this story has a, a really good uh, uh, celebrity punchline, which all my stories have. Nice. Um, so I was, you know, it sucks to use something with fire and burn yourself. And then also the drug yeah. is the type of drug that would make you paranoid. So now you have an injury and you're paranoid about it. Mm -hmm. So I started kind of wigging out a little bit and I was like, my God, I burnt my throat up. I'm like, my throat, what did I do? And I took out my phone <gasps> and I no. kind of forgot that I did this and I saw it the next yes. morning. But I took out my phone and I texted my old boss, Sarah Silverman. <sighs> I had not talked to her in mm, probably months or a year. A, a known uh, pro pot person. Yeah. Exactly. So I took out my phone. You went right to the old sages, the old masters. <laughs> I think that in my, yeah, that she was like, because she used to be my boss, it's like a parental authority figure yeah, type yeah. of person. But I know that she, yeah. Like, like I can't text my parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she don't you either. <laughs> she's closest thing to like a pothead, like mom in Uncle my life. Or something. Yeah. So my, I, this again, I hadn't talked to her in a year <laughs> and I texted her uh, with no context. I said, <laughs> I burnt my throat. <laughs> 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 That's it. Did I she ever get back to you? Uh, she, she did. She got back to me right away and said, aww. <laughs> and then I forgot about that conversation. I went to bed. I woke up the next day and was like, I didn't text Sarah Silverman. And I had to look and it was just, I burnt my throat. Aww. <laughs> you, not, you haven't heard from Tim Galvagas in a year. I burnt my throat. <laughs> That's good. But she was nice. She was concerned about That's me. That's good. <laughs> I know those types of pipes you're talking about. About. They're just kind of like yeah. uh, at a right angle. It's kind of like to it. made of like tin or something like very. Yep. Oh, those are weird. I, those are scary. The metal looking ones. I remember when I was in fourth grade in the summertime, uh, my a friend of mine and I were riding around on our bikes and we went up to this uh, this hotel near us that had this like big lookout. And we went up there and we found one of those pipes. And we were like, oh, I think this is weed or something. Uh, we didn't know what it was. So we put it in our pockets and we went down to our neighborhood to have like a pool for the uh families <laughs> we went down there and uh we're, swimmers? <laughs> we're sitting there we're like we're we're getting we're gonna get into the like putting our bikes on the rack and stuff and this older kid that he knew through his school or something but we were fourth grade he was in high school i think and he my friend knew his my friend's sister knew him anyway he was like we we're like look what we found we're like what is this thing is this we think it's drugs is it bad or whatever he's like oh yeah yeah you know what uh 
why don't I take that from you guys? I'll bring it to school and turn it in. But uh, and we're like, oh, awesome. <laughs> 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 he definitely just took it and smoked it. <laughs> Turned it in at school. What the fuck are you talking about? You got to go straight to the principal with this one. <laughs> but it was like that age where like, yeah, school is the authority as yeah, far as I'm concerned. They told us not to do this stuff. We should bring it to them. Bring it to them. <laughs> they know all about he, it. He knows uh, and he's good. He's, and he's good. Have you guys ever tried to smoke out of like an, uh, an apple? Uh, or a, or a, no, I, I know what you mean. Or but a it's, Coke can. That's that's uh-huh. another sort of like dirty mm-hmm. early on thing where like you dent a Coke can yeah. and then poke a bunch of holes and like rest the the weed chunk on it with like seeds and sticks. Yeah. And like any breeze would just blow it or like, just like <laughs> right, right, right off right. the Coke can in fucking awful way. Like I've seen that happen so like, high school. Like very much high school. Smoking the paint off the aluminum can. <laughs> right. Mastified. Uh, what I would do different with this? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. It's, uh, I guess, just make different well, flavors, chemical. which they have. We <laughs> just didn't get it. It's like, no, get make. it in the lab. Get chemical with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I'm in the lab with these guys, I'd say shrink it. Make it a tiny little drink. <laughs> I would imagine you maybe putting some maple syrup in there. Maybe oh, yeah. Some pineapple juice or something. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Vermont maple and uh, maybe a Hawaiian pine. You know what I would do? I, I would make me one called Lifted Lime. Okay. Oh, That's like what I would right. do. And also get rid of that THC V. Because you want the munchies. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> give me uh, give me 15 and I, I won't drink the whole you thing. You can kind of give yourself the munchies. You're like, you know what? I'm going to eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that stuff is working because my my thoughts aren't getting so far away. from. I'm forgetting oh, a lot, shit. but yeah, I'm I kind can't. of having one. Th- is that an alarm you set? Yeah, it's for, it's the, for the rib. We made the ribs. ribs. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> we got oh, ribs. <laughs> you forgot about the ribs. And then after this. While we're eating the ribs, we're going to watch uh, <clears throat> Tom Green's movie, uh, Freddie Got, got Fingered. Fingered. Freddy got fingered. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about on the next blowout next week. How about yeah, so that? Yes, you got to subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com slash the sloppy boys, and then you can hear yeah. us recap. We're not going to record the episode. Right, we're, we're not going to be high <laughs> when you record. But gonna it, it's going to be a fun movie to watch while high because I think it's going to be an off the wall. Oh, yeah. We're going to giggle. Plus, but it's always fun with you guys watching stuff. You're always like, yeah. Mike, did you see that? I'm like, what? Well, I missed it. Well, <laughs> we know a bunch of showbiz stuff. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. They're like, oh, those shoes are Greeked. <laughs> hey, you're Greek. <laughs> you know, yeah, my yeah, you're aware of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tim, you don't fuck fly that Greek. stuff. All right. All right. Here's what I would do differently. My only note is uh, I, I would like more carbonation. Mine was like pretty oh. completely flat. Well, but, that's the thing. I think... The, it's not supposed to be carbonated because it, it's like if you're going to reseal it. Mike, is a seltzer. Oh, yeah, yeah it's you're, a right, seltzer. you're right. I, I mean, right. who's going to. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I'm not, I'm not going to try to argue any of that. <laughs> and, uh, but it's 40 calories. I like the amount of yeah. sweetness. I did like the flavor. And I do think that it feels what yeah, about, like. More calories in there. Throw one or two more calories. 43. But only bubbles is the only thing. I, I like it. And I like the way it feels. And I feel a little sparkly. Good. Yeah. These are pretty good. How are you feeling, Joe? I feel pretty uh, lit up. I'm living large. Yeah. Um, I'm working. I feel good. I'm ready for these ribs. Mm-hmm. And uh, if I'm listening, if I'm listening to this, wow. My boys are listening, are, are going to talk about Freddie Got Fingered in like five days. <laughs> that yeah. fucking I'm rules. Gonna, I'm gonna I plunk, wish I could hear it. I'm going to plunk down that money for the double the pleasure every week. Man. He's talking, of course, about the sloppy boys blowout. That's where it's all happening. It's a good show. I, I like that show. I don't really like this one. Yeah. It's it's a it's no. behind a patron a very modestly priced uh, Patreon wall, firewall that you have to pay. Yeah, but once you're back there, it's a low hurdle. You're you're listening to these shows ad free. You're listening to the, every week we do a special episode based on whatever we want. This week's going to be Freddie Got Fingered. And once you get to that other size like of the paywall, the paywall itself is a little scary. But when you get through it, then you see. Pff, you see Tim, he's pretty much your boy at this point. Yeah. Oh, he's hey. hanging out. He welcomes you in, hey. and there's just two co-hosts, Mike and Jeff. Hey. It's like a virtual hey, I'll space. I'll be with you a little yeah. bit. I'm just putting final touches on questions for Lennon. Another <laughs> tier you can get Another to is where I do a... Guys, uh, it's all happening past the paywall. you got to get over there. Yeah, that's that's the spot. This is, there anywhere this is you, the anywhere Sloppy you Boys movie. Is not us being uh, rum runners or us dropping poker chips up our butts or whatever the other That was yeah. all fucked up. The, the Nasty Man movie. No. The Sloppy Boys movie is a Pixar movie. Yes. It's in Insider patron where you have to jump over the bay wall and then like John Lennon yes. is welcoming you to questions. It's Wreck It Ralph. It's like, uh, or it's like, you <laughs> it's know, Wreck like, Ralph for our generation. Like Detroit Rock City is about those four guys who like want to go see a kiss yeah. concert. Mm-hmm. It's about some young kids who want to get into the paywall. I saw one of the Detroit Rock City guys out and about uh, in my trip here. Eddie Furlong? I forget which one. No, I, I saw forgot. Eddie Furlong at Ralph's one time back in the day. I hadn't seen the movie in a while. I kind of forgot. Whoa, who was who? Some it was a little celebrity sighting for me. 
All right, folks, all that and more coming soon. Yes, all of that and more coming soon. And um, the <laughs> the plant that they use for making THC and stuff like that, it's cannabis, right? Mm-hmm. So you've heard of cannabis? Yeah, well, yeah, we said a few times. But yeah. have you heard of uh-huh. the cannabis quiz? <laughs> no! Now, Tim, what, I like when you set that up. I always love when you set that up. But are you expecting us to go, no, or yeah? <laughs> I think Is it supposed to be a threatening thing? It's shock. Quiz? Just It's just shock. Like, oh, we didn't know. You we didn't, didn't know, know there was, was such a thing. Okay, I got to get ready for a quiz. This is a quiz. Okay. This is a quiz hosted by me. You guys are the contestants. Quiz master. Uh, you just blurt out the quiz master, answer. A quiz faster. And the winner gets an extra rib at dinner tonight. <sighs> Oh, and then the other loser gets a punch in the ribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the quiz master or the winner. I don't know. It's really the rib quiz. Um, are you guys McRib fans? Never eh, had. I've had it, but it's not something I'm like, oh, it's coming back. Right. I've oh, had no, it. I, I have. It's like a printed. Uh, it's shaped like yeah, ribs. Yeah. It, it, but it's, it's, just a, almost it's like, a patty. It gets thicker where there would be bones, but it's just like yeah. a pa- it's pressed yeah. meat. It's like kind of red sauce on it. Yeah, pressed had. meat bits. It, it's it's not bad, but I think they, but by having it go away and come back, they turned it into a thing. I, I just said, uh, hold on, you're going to get to that quiz. Let me say something. You say something. So I just <sighs> said, uh, oh, pressed meat bits. That's like what the, what it is. Right. You know what you hate those characters in movies that are like, yeah. uh, it would be like the nerdy <laughs> type person. He's like, hmm, should I uh, have, should we split a um, nitrous pop with the, uh, ah, you know what I'm trying yeah, to yeah. say. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that. So if we do the Sloppy Boys movie, let's <laughs> not do include, that. We're let's not, doing that, that character is cut. He's or gone. Gone. He's, he's, a villain. he's a bad person. Yeah. yeah, a villain. yeah. So we besmirch his people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you were going to do a full quiz. The cannabis quiz here. Can we I ask go. how many questions? That hel- that's helpful to me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, who's that? six, who's that? Seven, seven, eight, on the floor. Is nine, that ten, eleven, twelve. Mike, even number, one, but that's two, not good. Three, four, Mike, you're, 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 you have it. On the floor. Quiet. The quiz is about to start. You to keep <laughs> counting. He doesn't need to count them all. I mean, I'm, I'm cutting through the bullshit here. I'm trying to bring up a song, a dance song. <laughs> bring up. Take a breath, Mike. Even you, you, you haven't stopped talking. <laughs> I know. I think it's the <laughs> <laughs> it's been like 15 minutes. <laughs> Calling him out. You don't yell at him. He's, he, talks to, he talks 33% of the time. He's supposed to, but he takes all the time. Oh, God. He's supposed to. <laughs> He's, this is the problem, Jeff. Yeah, I, I know it's the problem. It's it's, fine. Has it been a problem before? No, let's get into it. Has it been a problem before? Have I been annoying you no, before? No, this is, this is off the charts. It's the, it's the, it's the THCV. Now, now you got t- a Tim going. <laughs> Tim's lost it. I Look, there, think- there, there are times on the show where I've been where I've been a bit steamrolled. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. This is this is like this is completely off the grid. You know what? I'm pulling out the zapper. This is, I'm, this I'm, is Mike, you get, oh no, you're getting zapped. Can for you do it, it on my toe though? I don't we'll, want to do it. We'll all get zapped, but you'll be the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, oh boy! I got a feeling that was pent up for a long time this, too. This, no, I think that was coming. Guy, he, I mean, <laughs> slept in weeks has been building and I building. think that has been a long pop there and we used to be roommates now I'm going back through everything I did in the roommates but I did the dishes he would he never he never, never did the dishes you know, taking a breath <laughs> Was I cutting you off? Is that why? <laughs> no, just like not. <laughs> it truly was just like don't allow a breath. If there's space, fill it. <laughs> Which, by the way, is don't great podcasting. I would never stop you from don't doing that thing. No, I am, I, I, or if you do, let me know it's coming. <laughs> it's coming right now. Here we go. Well, I'm where? Not on your knee. Come on. All right. Well, we'll each get a little more adventurous. You I just want to do one adventure. You you get knee, I'll go elbow, and then Tim, you surprise us. Um, no! <laughs> Why don't you do my toe? Through, not through the sock. Okay, I'll take the sock off. Sock off? Wait, can we uh, get it in Jeez. frame? We should get it in frame. I don't, I don't want to put my, my foot on frame. It's disgusting. <laughs> That's perfect. Or we're going knee now. Now I feel bad. Do it! Wait. It didn't, do it, it didn't do it. I think it's it has to, up, see? Yeah, but I think it has to go in through the like you have to go inside the cage part. No way. Like the the thing inside is where it would zap. Oh. How do we do that? Well you'd have to, you have to fly you'd have to in. modify the racket. Pinky? Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, you I don't want to do this at all, you know. 
<laughs> what a backfire. Well, I think, I think it makes for some comedy. Right. Yeah, but hey, the good thing is we got the cannabis quiz. It's true. <laughs> yes. We have a quiz we got to get. And, and I'm, I, the fans right now are frothing at the mouth. They're loving it. They got a big, long episode coming. That... I gotta tell you, man, my that I that was a belly laugh, and my my abs, my six pack hurts. Nice. <laughs> All right. So I think that the, I think the PBR seltzer has kicked in. I think so too. I think that was a, what just happened here was a silly <laughs> clear stuff. show of what happens when you drink these things with, yeah. you, with your buddy. It's a cautionary tale. That was good. All right. Okay. The cannabis quiz. Twelve questions. Twelve yeah, questions. I, I do have to sit up. Which is an even number. So if you guys tie six six, that's it. Okay. It's a tie. That's it. Oh, interesting. So the cannabis quiz has no fun stuff. <laughs> no, there's those questions are fun and they'll make you laugh. Gotcha. Actually, they won't make you laugh. They'll make you think. Good. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Chong's partner. Say again? Jefferson. Oh, Chong's partner. Yes. You got to be clear, Tim. So what was it that I did wrong? I didn't know what was said. <laughs> now, now, how did, how is it that he Jeff said come again? How is it that Jeff got I think it he right? He's a direct. Uh, he's oh, my more face direct. Yeah. So when we're over Zoom, sometimes there's internet issues, and when we're in person, there's the, it's the, there's the air stream. Sometimes, so now it's doing to me. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll perform this one to you, but Jeff, you're allowed to chime in as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this popular man was going to clean his room until he got high. <laughs> Shaggy. Oh no, Afrojack. Afro Afro man. Michael Fuck. gets it. Oh. <laughs> I was going to clean my house. <laughs> okay. Boosh. You guys are tied. How do you feel? Good. Fantastic. Good now. Check his 2024 tour dates and you'll find that this old man is on the road yet again. Bruce Springsteen. Paul McCartney. He's on the road. On the road. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. <laughs> there you wow, go. Wow. That, that might be, I don't know any of his songs, but that might be a fun one to see. See him. I think he's playing the uh, Hollywood Bowl. I don't know any of his songs. Me neither. He played with, with Kermit the other day. Yes, I did see that. And he was in. Soup Dog uh, Often. The fucking We Are the World. <laughs> yeah. Unless he, he he's forget. probably got songs we don't realize we know or they've been covered by other people. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Next question on the cannabis quiz. This funk legend did a cameo in the film PCU. George Clinton. George Clinton. Michael. George Clinton. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Saw that guy at the bank. Remember that, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Bank of America. We were getting, we were we, getting our accounts set up. We first Is he all here. done up with the hair? It's all done up. Fluorescent dreads. He was wearing, uh, he was wearing uh, yeah, fluorescent, fluorescent dreads and uh, orange and yellow schemed um, like jumpsuit. camo. Oh, yeah, Camel yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Uh, remember we saw Parliament and yeah. Fishbone at the at the Greek. What a show. Was they that, did, that was a wild tour? show. Must have been. I hope they do more stuff like I, that because that think, was so cool. I think that was Fairwell and then they just kept doing it. Yeah. It was real. It was like a whole park like a for fake. so many people on the stage. They did so a funny thing at. where third to last song, they brought everyone up on stage and like they brought everyone from the audience, like in the pit came up. Mm-hmm. Every inch of the stage was filled with people. Everyone in the audience is yelling. The song ends. Everyone goes back. And they did three more songs. <laughs> <laughs> Just to ruin the movie. Did not ride that <laughs> motive, uh, momentum. Go ahead. Let's keep that in mind when we do some live shows this spring. Okay. Next up on the uh, <laughs> Cannabis Quiz. It's Trey Cool's 24-hour themed day. band. Michael gets <laughs> it. 24-hour themed band. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, mm, mm. This Ben and Jerry's classic contains chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Cherry Garcia. With gobs of chocolate chip fish cookie food. dough and fra fudge brownies. Not Girl Scout cookies? Food? Mint medley. Thin mint. Late night snack. Thin mint. What the fuck? Ooh, the, the key into this one. The, the chocolate chip cookie dough is... Tonight do dough. Dough is... Uh, 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 it's not a cookie, right? It's dough. Yeah. <laughs> Where's right. this going? So if you're between raw and fully cooked. Half dough. Half baked. Michael! Fuck! Half dough. Half baked. <laughs> half dough. <laughs> half dough the cookie. Half dough. Half dough. Okay. <clears throat> the director of Half Baked. Uh, second. No. Fucking oh, fuck no the uh oh my god what's her name 
We've talked about her before on this pod. Oh, she fuck. also directed Billy Madison. Yep. Audra, Billy, no fucking. Oh. Bob Saget directed Dirty Work. Madison. Yep. <laughs> I like that this is, you both look miserable because you do like know it, but yeah. it's. Tamara Davis. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Oh my God. Jefferson. And, and, and was married to one of the Beastie Boys? Or did, oh, yeah. or did stuff with the Beastie Boys? Yeah, I think married, married to one of the Beastie Boys. Cool. I actually work with Money Mark. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> um, okay, that's uh, a Jeff point. Next. Yes. Oh, fuck. Yikes. This 1936 film warned of the horrors of marijuana. Reefer Madness. Madness. Fuck. Michael gets it. Yeah, he's fast. Isn't it cool how I go from like half bake the flavor to half bake the movie? Now we're talking movies. I yeah. go to Reefer Madness. It's interesting. Yeah. Yes, I'm yes, tracking yes. all that. Yeah, okay. The Great Barrier Reef. No. Damn. Um, <laughs> I, it was only for those three questions. I don't think it does that. Anymore. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> While well, we're talking films, I guess. <clears throat> this 2008 action comedy featured a low I chuckling. Have Yes, Fuck. a low chuckling process server. Pineapple Express, Michael. Wait a minute, low chuckler? That was in another quiz. Yes, usually yeah. on the quizzes when uh, <laughs> Seth Rogen comes up, he's referred to as low a low chuckler. chuckler. Good Next know. up, marijuana in a cigar wrapper is called this. Blunt. Blunt. Jeff. Yes. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Emily Blunt. I wish. Um, I've, I, there's no logic uh, anymore to it, but here's a question. This is similar to, remember I was talking about the free, my Frito situation earlier, that I'm not really a Frito guy mm -hmm. in normal life? Well, anyway, keep uh, similar to that, here's the next question on the Canvas quiz. If it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Tim prefers Del Taco. Ooh. But for a late night mu crunchy munchy. Taco Bell. Yes. Oh. There you go. Fourth meal. Michael. Bong, I try not bong. to have it as a meal. Taco Bell is your dinner. Makes you feel weird, you know? Oof. Taco Bell yeah, in the middle of the treat. night. Meat okay. treat. Uh, next up, and it's the final question on the quiz. What is, what's the, even the score at this point? Uh, Mike has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jeff has three, but this last one is 10 points. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna, okay. I didn't think the cannabis quiz did weird. Lucky for me. In junior year of Ithaca College... Tim had a little uh, toky freak out mm -hmm. and uh, he went back to his room to calm down. Mm -hmm. But listening to this album, Dark Dark Side of the Moon. Michael no! gets it. Listening to this album oh, only scared him. I was almost going to say it when you said your freak out. Yes. Yeah, but I, uh, That's I the said, it's the, it's the fun fact attached to yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> the freak out. Well, congratulations to me. Ugh. Pretty good. Uh, you get one extra rib at dinner. Thank you. And I get punched in the in ribs. The rib. but, but was it by you or me? The quiz master or the winner? I could never throw a punch. I'm a pacifist. All right. I'll have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not about to, I hate to do it. I'm right, right, but I gotta do it. Might as well do it on pod. <laughs> yep. That's our show. Follow us on social media at The Sloppy Boys where we release these recipes ahead of time. If you can't get enough boys, we already plugged it. It's patreon.com slash The Sloppy Boys. Great episode, dudes. Great episode, those of you listening at home. Well, you take a fucking breath. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, folks. Love you. Bye, folks. Be safe out there with everything you do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be totally For my greatest trick yet, I'm going to make a pee pee from my wee wee. <laughs> Ooh. That was crazy. Yeah. Hey, what happened to that apple with the bite taken out of it? It's an apple with one bite taken out of it.